In today's coaster review, I'm talking about Wild Eagle, a 2012 B&M wing coaster at Dollywood in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Now, what's cool about this coaster is that it is built into the terrain. So it has a very different feel than a lot of the other wing coasters. And when you factor in that it doesn't have a wing over drop or any near miss elements, it has a very different feel than other wing coasters. So I'm going to be talking about if that's a good or a bad thing in today's video. But as usual, let's talk about the stats. Now because of the terrain, this coaster's height is at over 200 feet. However, its drop is only 135 feet. There are four inversions a vertical loop, zero G-roll, Immelman, and corkscrew. And something interesting, from what I was actually told, the original designs for Wild Eagle actually included two other inversions, which is something that I just thought was a bit interesting. Its maximum speed is 61 miles per hour. It is not the fastest steel coaster at Dollywood. Tennessee Tornado is actually the fastest. As a length of 3,127 feet and a duration of 2 minutes and 22 seconds. Its ride time is very solid, I will say that. Now, is this the best wing coaster? I don't think so. I know a lot of people prefer this to Gatekeeper, which is the only other wing coaster that I've ridden besides this. And to be perfectly honest, I liked Gatekeeper better, and here's why. The wing over drop and near miss elements, to me, really makes a wing coaster. Wild Eagle doesn't have either one. There are some people that argue that the trees act as near miss elements with Wild Eagle. However, I would like to argue that point and say, no, they do not. This coaster does not have near miss elements at all. Now the inversions are just fine because of that wing experience. It definitely is good to ride this a couple of times in different seats so you can see which one you prefer. Whether you sit on the left or the right side really has an impact on how the inversions feel. Now as with a lot of these wing coasters, people will complain that they're pretty forceless. And if you're sitting in the front row, I'm being completely honest here, it is pretty forceless. However, in the back, it is more forceful. So for me, I definitely prefer the back row on this coaster. However, the front row is still good. They offer different experiences. Of course, this is a B&M coaster, so it's going to be pretty smooth. Really, it's about as smooth as you can get. And overall, I think it's a great coaster for Dollywood. It's definitely not my favorite roller coaster. It's a well-rounded roller coaster in general, but to me, both Thunderhead and Tennessee Tornado are superior to this, and I imagine Lightning Rod will be as well. But everyone has their different preferences, and I know some people that do consider this the best ride at Dollywood. Now, if I had to point out something that kind of takes away from the ride experience, I would say that the restraint system kind of restricts you. If you've ridden a wing coaster, you know that the vest will actually tighten, so I'm not really a fan of that. Now, let's talk about the layout for a second. Even though it doesn't have a wing over drop or anything, the drop is just fine. It feels like your typical B&M drop, and the four inversions are pretty good. One of the main things that I'm not crazy about with this coaster's layout is that it ends with two helixes. It just kind of feels anticlimactic because at that point it's lost a lot of its speed. I think it would have been a better finale if they had like a slow motion inline twist sort of thing, but instead it kind of goes through two helixes that don't really do anything and then you hit the brakes. Overall, the actual time you're spending on the ride, like excluding the lift hill and the brakes, it's probably about a minute. So I don't love the layout, but it's it's fine. So now it is time for that part of the video where I give a final score for Wild Eagle. I'm giving it a very solid 8. It's a very enjoyable coaster. I don't love it, but it's a solid ride. I know people that are big fans of this coaster. I wouldn't consider myself a huge fan, but it's fine, you know? It's good. It's relaxing. It may not be amazing, but it's fun. So I want to know from you what you think of Wild Eagle at Dollywood. Do you feel the same as I do? Let me know in the comment section and make sure to stay tuned for more coaster reviews.